curls right to the nose of it. It's going to be a tough measurement here on sheet number six. We're just taking a look at it. And uh, two rocks directly on the button. Very hard to determine who's got the shot rock here as it looks like they're kissing each other right on that pinhole. It's one of those situations where uh, Jeff Stoughton, as the guy in charge, is going to have to make the call. He can make the call that it is a tie. Uh, they're obviously both biting the pinhole. And our cameraman is moving over just to take a quick peek here. We will cut to that in just a second here. And Jeff is trying everything here just to see here what they could possibly do. This is sheet six. This is not obviously the game we are covering, but uh, an interesting predicament. There have been times when I have seen tied rocks. So I think uh, anybody who's curled for uh, many years has seen ties on measures, uh, but I don't know that I've ever seen one uh, that was so close that you could not measure. Uh, Nancy Martin, uh, you may have noticed by hand gestures, suggesting they measure from the outside edge of the four-foot circle. Um, the problem with that lies in the fact that the A, the pinhole may not be dead center, Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't be a pure measurement. There's also the possibility that the rocks are not purely symmetrical, so that one rock True. being a little larger than the other would, uh, by a measure to the outside of it, um, would not be accurate, again yeah. be a skewed measurement. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and it looks like Jeff Stone's a little perplexed at what to do, too. Way more fun watching that one than watching the game we're playing, and it's a very entertaining game. This is a, this is a tremendously interesting situation. <laughs> what do you do? In the end, uh, you call it a tie. These are pretty close. If I hit this with back line. Yeah. Right on the nose. Dig in here. And. I think there's room to suggest that the communication here will be uh, aggravated by the fact that we're dealing with a team from Russia and a team from Canada, um, so that the communication gap may just be a little bit of a challenge. Not sure this is a situation that Jeff Stoughton wants to find himself <laughs> in, but uh, uh, he's become a, a part of the officiating side of the game now and uh, not the playing side. It'd be interesting to see what his reaction would be as a player in this situation. Yes. Well, the rocks have been kicked off. It uh, will be interesting to see what happens in this situation. Well, the Russian team are, they are in the hack right now. And I would say that they were awarded a point. Well, I'm not so sure because we didn't have, uh, from that original end, the uh, Russian team had scored a single. The fourth end has been hung up oh, as up. a yes, blank end. Yes, yes. The, uh, the scenario here, oh. Ken, is that uh, there is no such thing as a blank in this game in that if you roll out, if you blank an end deliberately, you lose uh, then you lose uh, the hammer. The hammer. Yes, but course. in this situation where it was a blank by virtue of a tie measure, uh, the hammer stays in, in the same order that it was at the beginning of the end. So. So uh, very interesting, a uh, declared blank end on a, on a very tight to the pinhole situation. Um, meantime, I trust you've been watching our game because I certainly haven't, Ken. I've been <laughs> distracted by watching that uh, going on uh, over there. I'm so. not, yeah. not going to tell you a lie. I was watching that sheet as well, so <laughs> I was hoping you were watching this sheet. Well, I'm sure we can catch up here pretty quick as That's a lot is making his way down right now. 